All right, y'all, how's it going? So, yeah, I had a little temporary setback. I was supposed to start this at 7.33. And, of course, go live on YouTube. But that didn't happen. So, I'm recording it now. And I'll share it on YouTube once it's done. So before I get before I get started, I want to say happy Sunday, y'all. What a beautiful evening it is. So just trying to, you know, just um, clear the space, clear the energies, bring in positive energies in here. Call in our ancestors. Let the spirit come through. Let the ancestors come through. So today, man, beautiful night, beautiful Sunday. And it's like, think about this, the 12, right? One and two is your three. And 13 is a sacred number. Sacred number 13 of our ancestors, the ancient ones, right? So yes, before I get started, man, I just wanna give a special shout out to my special woman, my lovely lady. By Lucy. Yes, man. Finally, finally in union with my greater half, with my other half. And how did that happen, y'all? How did that happen? You see, when you start manifesting, it's like love finds you. It's like we found each other, right? Because we were an open portal to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like when you find your true love, man, that's just something special. You can't, you can't deny that. You can't deny that at all. It's like when two souls put in the work, you put in the inner work, the healing, you let go of the baggage. You let go of the pain. You hear yourself. It's like when you start becoming conscious of self, right? Love becomes conscious of itself as well. Please remember, we're in a time where two souls are merging to become one. Not only two souls are merging to become one, it all, it all takes shape to form that connection and we're at a time where we be we are connecting with our higher selves and therefore our higher selves are also finding each other when two souls emerge to become one you see love is in fact the key to life to paradise and bringing in bringing in your kingdom, right? Bringing in your kingdom, bringing in your manifestations, bringing in your whole of who you are. I tell you, man, this journey has been a very long journey. It really has. In fact, not only that it's been a long journey, but there has been a lot of work to put into this journey of healing, self-reflecting, letting go, and when two souls do that, again, it's like when you put out your intentions out there to the universe, the universe responds. It's the comic order of life, okay? It's the integration of two souls merging to become one. So I give my shout out to my queen, man, that we finally found each other. We're falling together. You know, yeah, she could be miles away, but we're together in mind, body, and spirit. And we're in sync. It's like it's crazy when you're in sync with each other. Synchronicity speaks to you. That's another language. It's another language. It's energy. It's vibration. You are that energy and that vibration. So when you start finding out who you really are and you start putting in the work of yourself, you become that image of who you are. You, it's like as within, so without. So as within, so without. You go inside yourself, that's within yourself, your core, your matrix. 
your outer self of who you are finds you as a reflection of what you put out there. That's when you, that merge happens, that spark, that love. It, it just it just it just comes together in conjunction. You see, folks, when we talk about conjunction, isn't isn't that what we're seeing now? How look at the the Great Awakening coming into the twenty first of December. That's conjunction of what the planets of Saturn, Saturn and Jupiter, and I'm gonna get into that soon, which is why also I'm doing this live. So just go more further into what is that whole conjunction? What does that mean? But I want to go into this first because the power of the mind, y'all, it really works. When you put out there, you receive. Remember, you're also an antenna. You receive and you send out. What's the transmission? The transmission. So think about this. Why do you think they want people in fear they, why do you think they want people in fear so much? Why do you think they why do you think they classify that water? I mean, why do you think they put Florida in that water to classify your your mind? Remember, your pineal gland gets classified, right? With that fluoride, it closes that 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 um that that inner eye. It puts a, sh a like a a door over it, a cage. Okay, so when you're connected with your mind's eye. Remember, you're also connected to the crown, your spiritual crown. What is your spiritual crown? Your spiritual crown is your antennas to the information, to the information that's coming from source, from to coming from the heavens. You're connected. You're connected. Okay? So when you're in understanding of that, when you're in true alignment of self, everything outside of you becomes a reflection of that. Because you're finally merging, you're finally in union, and this is what's happening. And I and I speak on that because that's what's happening to me now. You see, those that follow me on Facebook, I don't even like using that term "follow me" because that's just it's like I don't want followers. You know what I'm saying? But those that watch me on Facebook understand that. I mean, when especially you're paying attention to the work I've been doing, you start seeing that I've been putting that out there like bringing her in, wheeling her in, you know what I'm saying? Like calling in my greater half, calling in my rock, my foundation, because that's what she is. She's my balance. She's my six nine, you know what I'm saying? She's my cancer. She's my water to my fire, and I am the fire to her water. You get what I'm saying? So I speak that for my truth because I understand just like she understands her truth, how powerful we are through our minds, how we connect. So it, this is an amazing journey to be finally in union with someone because it makes this journey a lot more where you're not, I'm not, I'm not saying that I was ever alone, but I know that I, I'm finally in union. It makes this journey a lot more where the work is paying off and the manifestations are coming through and that also brings awareness to others that see and understand that your mind is the weapon to this system outside of you that just corrupts you that brings you down that doesn't let you grow that doesn't allow you to find that love see a lot of people are are so disconnected with self that they, they find themselves where they have to be comfortable and settle and settle where how many relationships are falling out of love and how many people out there are just in fear. You see, when you're in that state of mind, you become a prisoner of your own self. You are not allowing yourself to explore your mind, explore yourself, understand who you truly are. You see, when I when I speak my truth, when I tell you who I am, it's not to to have followers, it's to you yourself to remind yourself of who you are. You see, I'm only of a reflection of who you can become. Because there's nothing special about I if we are all special. 
You feel me? So, like, I don't like to use that term followers because I don't have, you see, I, I, I heard this not that long ago where this person was telling about, well, I ain't even follow you because I ain't ready. If you want, you see, when I think about followers, this is why you have that shepherd, that Jesus, that has that sheep following him that are so disconnected from themselves. You see, I don't, I don't have followers. I'm just a reminder of who you are, a leader, a goddess, a god, a magician. You know, it's like the mind, how powerful the mind is. When you start realizing that everything just starts connecting, you feel what I'm saying? Everything comes online because you start merging more with the alignment of who you are. Remember, the science of who you are, man. That's science of who you are. Understand that science. You know, when you start, really start to come online, a lot of everything outside of you changes because you're able to navigate differently. You're able to change that shift or that shit, right? Because you remember that matrix system is just, it's like, it's like it doesn't want you to evolve doesn't want you to evolve. They want to keep you stuck, trapped, confined in that beast mode, in that beast mindset where you're not finding the beauty of everything else. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like when you're stuck and you can't navigate, and especially if you're just in fear, what does fear do to you? Fear, all it does is keep you in a low vibration. It keeps you stuck. It doesn't allow you to, to go ahead and find yourself. You become just like everybody else. When everybody else is going right, you get what I'm saying? When everybody else is going right, you go left. You go the different direction. Especially when everybody's going right to right into the trap, right into that fucking that that fear mongery, that program system, that fucking of uh, people taking vaccines. You know, it's it's insane how oh I'll I'll show I'll show that a little later in my Facebook, right? There's a post that that I um, I put out there that I got from somebody else, but I shared that. And it just makes a lot of sense how people are falling for this vaccine nonsense. And like if like I've like I've said, like put that shit out there, what the vaccines have, what they want to do to you, you know, and, and why it's why, what is that for? You know what I'm saying? So it's like when people are going right, man, you go left. You don't follow the herb. You see, here's the thing. I don't have sheep that watch me. I have lioness, I have lions, I have wolves, I have leaders that watch. There's a reason why people watch. You see, I speak my truth so you can speak, know who your truth, what your truth is. Not the illusion of self, but your real truth of who you are. That's the power of manifestations that's the power of informations when you infirm you call it in just like me and my beloved my empress my queen she called me in just at the same time I was calling her in you get what I'm saying so it's like it's like um that's the real love man when when you're looking at everything around you and just like I said, I'm there in mind, body, and spirit, just like she is here with me, mind, body, and spirit. And every time I look around me, I see her. We're in sync. Because you have the universe. We have the universe behind us. We have source behind us. You know what I'm saying? This, this is alignment here. This isn't just a regular relationship. This is something powerful. You get what I'm saying? Because why? Because we are, we both know who we are. 
You know what I'm saying? We both know who we are. We both know that this is source that brought us together. We finally come together. Put it like this, y'all. There's a lot of souls here that walk this earth that have been here before. It's a true thing when they say your soulmate, your twin flame. That's a true thing. That's a real thing. And I have that. And I, ha and I have that. But why do I have that? Because I was able to find myself. I was able, able to tap into who I am. I was able to heal and let go of the baggage. I'm not saying that I was perfect. I was never perfect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes in my in past relationships and whatnot, but I, a lot of that was growth. A lot of that was learning. A lot of that was, it had to happen. You know, I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I was becoming the man I am now. I was becoming the king I am now. I was becoming the emperor I am now. Just like she was also becoming the woman she is now. The empress, the queen. Now we're in a time where we're coming. To, we're gonna come together, and we're gonna build our kingdom. Hell, we're already building it now. How is that that we're building it now? Because right here, y'all. When the eye and the mind is open, it's connected to a greater source. So this is the time where people are coming into union and really coming into union. You see, we don't have to. You see, once we do tie that knot, it's more spiritual than common. You feel me? So, so yeah, I was just happy, finally really, really happy where I really have that in my life. Because it, it just not only makes everything more worth it, but I know that I have her with me. Just like I knew that, like even months before I even found her or she found me, because it was really her finding me. <laughs> and how she did it, it was like, wow. And when I read what she was sending me, I was like, damn, it's almost like it was me saying that to my, it was like only me, it was like if it was she was me outside of me, right? And I was like, damn, that she reminds me of me. I had to rewrite, I had to read it over and over again. I thought maybe my eyes were like deceiving me or my glasses were foggy. I was like, shit, man. This is legit. Is this real? Like, damn. I was like, man. Something told me right there, like, Miguel, don't let her go, bro. You better call. You better grab her. You better just be like, this is it, man. This is what I've been looking for. I wasn't going to let her slip. I wasn't going to go ahead and let her get, get away from me. I was like, fuck that. This is it. She's, she's the one. You feel me? I was like, man, this is it, man. This is what I've been. This is what I've been calling in all this time that I'm on my altar and I get up and, and and when I wake up and I'm calling her out, like bring her to me. I've done healed. I know I've healed. I've gone through a long way and I want my greater half. I want her present. I know she's out there. Bring her to me. You get what I'm saying? So when I finally got her, I was like, man, I am not letting her go, man. This is it. <laughs> And we could be miles away apart from each other, but like I said, we're together. Always, man. We've been together. We just had to find out, find that out. That awareness had to be aware of itself. It's like, like I said, everything is vibration and energy. Say so consciousness becomes consciousness of itself. Love becomes conscious of itself. But how does that happen? You have to become aware. You get what I mean? So it's awesome the fact that today's the 12 the 13 you get what i mean and like one and three baby what is one and three one and three is four what is the four y'all that's also jupiter energy which is why i'm glad that we're we're on here now check this out 757 <laughs> i never lie so it's just going into that going into that um what i want to talk about too about how we're in that time we're heading the 21st of december the great conjunction, the massive awakening of what we are about to see and what does it all mean. So let's go right into it. So let me go ahead and um, look for what I want to show.
Christ, so give me a minute. So today is also Sunday, right? So it's also Ra, right? The day of Ra. So the day of Ra has a lot to do also, you know, so those that, that practice. This day is a, a lot to do with success, wealth, and fame, right? So building your success, opening yourself up to that wealth, which is also where Jupiter comes in, right? Because Jupiter also pertains to So let me share this. So, so um, Jupiter is a planet, right? But remember, as above, so below. So. This is how we're so connected with the energies of Jupiter. And being that today is number four, not only the number four represents the emperor, it also represents the Jupiter. So when we're talking about the Jupiter, Jupiter also is about abundance, prosperity, wealth, right? It's also about having open success, like especially when you're in a new journey or a new endeavor, you know, this is all about building yourself, uh, align, uh, finding yourself in alignment with these type of energies. You remember as above, so below, okay? So what is Jupiter? Jupiter is considered to be the fifth planet from the sun, right? Is the fifth planet from the sun. Okay, it's one of the, the sun is one of the largest in the solar system. Okay, you see how today is special, how today is Sunday, which is also sun, a sun, ra, right? So it's all, it's all together. Okay, now when we think about the fifth planet, number five, is also a representation of your throat chakra. Spoken word, spoken language, speaking your truth. It's also the element of sound. So when you think about also the solar system, remember you also have a solar system within. That's your solar plexus chakra, the element of fire. The element of fire and also it's the essence of who you are, the spiritual warrior, okay? So remember, this is all to do with the science of who we are, as above, so below. So when you think about Jupiter, man, you know, it, it brings in so much. And look at Saturn. Yeah, you have Saturn right here. This, this is crazy because it's 23. <laughs> you know, so... Let's, let's find out more information about Jupiter. And I love using the Jupiter magic often. I gotta make sure I'm sharing this, hold on. So let's go into hold on. Uh, is this it? I 
Oh, this one isn't it. Okay, yeah, this is it. So Jupiter is known in old school astrology as the greater benefix. It's the planet that people work with when they are seeking to attract more abundance, wealth, wisdom, energy into their lives. So physically, it is the only planet in our solar system that gives off more energy than it takes in. And magically, it works in a similar manner. If you are looking to attract or draw anything good and beneficial into your life, then Jupiter is a planet you want to have on your side. And lately, I've been working a lot with Jupiter. So not only that, I've been calling to Jupiter for more wisdom, abundance, prosperity, love, wealth, help. You know what I'm saying? And I'm in, I'm in alignment with Jupiter. I was also being a number four, which is why I work with Jupiter, the energy of Jupiter. You remember, y'all, man, it's all about energies. It's not about... It's not about um, if this is evil and whatnot. Hey, man, this is our science. If we have it, use it. Use it, for, use it to better yourself. Use it for greatness. Use what we have as the tools that our ancestors gave down to us. Remember, we learn from them. You know, so all this here, this is us. This is our birthright. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Why not live in abundance? Why not live in love? You see, like I said, everything that me and, me and my queen put out there because of the work we done. So we reflected each other. We brought each other into each other's um, space, okay? Because remember, connecting into your inner space, you create your outer space, okay? So that's very, very important. So knowing what Jupiter is about and then understanding how it's important to really understand this whole conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, when these planets align, okay? So we already see how Jupiter, it's about abundance, wealth, wisdom, and so forth. So let's go ahead and um, get out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and do Saturn. Let's go ahead and check up around the Saturn. Let's first go ahead and go into um, what is Saturn and why is Saturn important? Let's 
So Saturn So So Saturn is a ruler as a ruling planet of Capricorn and traditionally Aquarius. So remember, we're entering the age of Aquarius when it's going to go full bloom a uh, full, full blown into 2025. But honestly, like I said many times, we are already pretty much in that age of Aquarius. Because simple fact that not only 2020 is all about inner sight, inner vision, but inner knowing, right? So we're getting the taste of that energy of Aquarius, the air sign, right? So, so we know that Capricorn governors the root chakra right they go they governor that root it's also where you get your where a lot had to do with your ego um the foundation your uh, your security and so forth so when you look about when you think about saturn saturn is also considered to be what they call satan right or the devil or set but remember it's all energy and the only reason why they we considered Saturn or Satan to be evil because that's what is taught right it's it's what's taught remember it's all energy man you can use Saturn for good it doesn't have to be for evil <laughs> it's all energy it's all energy at the end of the night it's all energy it's what you do with it that matters. It's all programming. When we're taught that something's evil, it's a program. And where, where is that coming from? That Christian faith, that Christian religion, you know, that, that dogma of that nonsense. I call it nonsense because it is nonsense. You know, you, you gotta think about where, where all that shit's coming from and why, how they demonize everything. Look like how they demonize, demonize all the energies, all the elements, how they, how they demonize the feminine energy as well, how they demonize our ancestors, okay? So when we're talking about planets, the planets are up there. Not only they're up there, but they're in you. They're a part of you, okay? So Saturn is a sixth planet from the sun, and it takes 29.5 years to orbit the sun, spending about... 2.46 years in each sign of the zodiac. This is our science. This is our science. This is our astrology. The planet is in, encircled by a manifest system of rings made up of similar particles in constant orbit. These particles range in size from microscopic to a few meters across. They are made up mostly of water, ice, with trains amounts of metal and rock. In Roman lore, Saturn was the god of agriculture, founder of civilizations, and of social order, natural laws, and cycles, and conformity. The famous rings of planet Saturn, the enclosed and surrounded, reflects these principles of man's limitations. But if you understand that there isn't any limitations of self, the only time when there is limit it's because of the programs outside of you that want to limit you. But other than that, you are limitless. So astrologically, Saturn is associated with the principles of limitation, restrictions, boundaries, um, particularly and reality, crystallizing and structures. Saturn governors ambition, career, authority, and heritry, uh, and conforming social structures. It concerns a person's sense of duty discipline and responsibility and their physical and emotional endurance during hardship Saturn is also considered to represent the part of persons concerned with long-term planning the return of Saturn is said to mark significance events in each person's life according to the first century poet man Lewis Saturn is said I mean Saturn is sad Monroe uh, morose and cold and it is the greater malefic in medicine. Saturn presides over the 
the skeptical system, skin, teeth, gill bladder, spleen, and vagus nerve. Saturn symbolized processes and things that were dry, extremely cold, and was therefore inimical to life. It governed the manicotic humor. Before discovery of Uranus, or <laughs> Uranus, Saturn was universally regarded as the ruling planet of Aquarius. So many astrologers still use Saturn as a planetary ruler of both Capricorn and Aquarius. In modern astrology, it is according to the ruler of the 10th and 11th houses. It's very important to study your birth chart and learn your houses. Traditionally, however, Saturn was associated with, associated with the first and eighth house. First house, incarnation eighth house, death Saturn was also said to joy in the 12th house of self undoing. So the death of the ego and rebirth of the true self. So when you f finally <laughs> let go of the ego and have that death of the ego, you become in joy with your true self of who you truly are. So, so in Chinese astrology, Saturn is ruled by the element of earth, right? But remember the Capricorn is also the sign of earth. Also, you think about this, the heart chakra is also the fourth chakra connected to mother is also the element of earth. So, um, which is patient, hardworking, and reliable. And in Indian astrology, the Saturn is called Shani or Shani. Every person's career, longevity. It is also the binger of bad luck and hardship. Saturn is represented by a glimpse known as the crescent below the cross compared to Jupiter's glimpse, the crescent above the cross as above so below. So think about this. It represents career and longevity, which is also it's awesome when we when these two planets come in conjunction with each other. Remember what Jupiter brings. So if we're looking at new beginnings. So pretty like this, how the twenty first is also the end of a paradigm shift and the beginning of a new one. It's coming into a new golden age of new long beginnings. When when people are, are really starts tapping in and their spiritual gifts of awareness starts coming online. Remember, everything needs to become aware of each other. And this is the perfect time when you start becoming more activated and then you start bringing in more your long endeavors, your success, your abundance, your love, your, your unionships, you start forming new partnerships. And this is a time where also how new systems are failing and new systems are becoming. New things are arriving. There's gonna be more people go tapping into their creativity and start building more endeavors. They start creating. This is a time of creation. As becoming a more co-creator as that you are, okay? So when you start realizing how these planets matter and how these energies are coming to you okay it's like you start becoming more online you're more activated right so when you're more activated you're more active you start bringing in more your you, stinks that you start going shaping in your mind starts forming in your reality Remember what I said last time, you come in to shape and build your form. So Saturn is the highest planet were known to the ancients, closest to the gods, and those associated, associated with it. immortality and longevity. Saturn's energy is that the ruler, the one in charge, Saturn is energy, the law and order, rules, boundaries, and things inevitably death, taxes, fate, evolution. Because we're entering a time where people are evolving. You see, the only way a revolution takes form, it needs to be shaped up inside. Evolution starts within. 
when you are evolved, you become that revolution that doesn't get televised because everything is happening within yourself. Remember, everything starts with inner, then takes shape outer, the form of your inner work. Okay? So, let's go into, you see how, yeah, this is awesome because look, excuse me, earth, right, and water. Okay? Why is it water? Because of, because of the simple fact that See, Aquarius isn't a water sign. Aquarius is an air sign. So that's pretty much wrong. It's earth and air, not water. So let's see. All right, let's go ahead and get out of there. Yeah, so this is awesome right here hey this is awesome because it's the chicago tribune y'all okay where's my thing where's my what the Okay, what's happening here? Okay, why is it my thing open? Share. All oh, these fucking pop ups is ridiculous. Yeah, so it was kind of it was kind of crappy that I wasn't able to go live on YouTube. I was really looking forward to start at the time I wanted to start, but you know, um, we gotta make it make the best out of it, right? So it's all good. It's not gonna stop me to go ahead and um put this on my channel. You know, um, again, just going back to like like to what I was talking about earlier about how I don't I don't want followers, right? That's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to have followers. I'm not here for none of that. I'm here to show you who you are. Because like I said, we're all special, man. We just got to know that. You know, um, there is nothing that I'm doing different that you cannot do. You know, um, it's like, like I said, who... who who, who wants to follow someone else? You know, you know what I'm saying? There's no sense of that. This is why a lot of people are so screwed up spiritually because they're too busy following programs or they're too busy following a shepherd. What does a shepherd have? He has sheep. Like I said, I don't have sheep. I don't want sheep. I'm, ha I'm here to help the sheep to wake up. I'm here to to um, to set that spark for people to know who they are. You get what I'm saying? So, all right. So this is this site talking about the planets to appear, nearly align, creating. Why this shit keeps a Christmas star. Uh, how can I get this out of my fucking way? That's gonna be visible. <laughs> this shit doesn't wanna. This shit doesn't wanna go. Let me do what I need to do. A Christmas star. <laughs> this thing keeps fucking with me, man. Last widely visible, eight hundreds from you know into 800 years ago it hasn't been visible since 800 years from now until now so 
when something incredibly rare or unexpectedly happens, it is said that planets aligned. On December 21st, the winter solstice, two planets will appear nearly aligned, resulting in an event so uncommon it's befitting of the same at one time astronomers may have felt it so closely resembled a Christmas miracle, or perhaps the star of Bethlehem that they named the, the spectacle the Christmas star. So remember what I've been saying, how the stars that are up in the sky are our ancestors, the deceased ones. Look at the star beetle geese, how the star beetle geese is there also. So when you think about this Christmas star, it's the ancestors showing that they're present and their energies are gonna be going into us. We are that, we are a conjure to those energies because of the simple fact that our body is also a walking star. You are made of star dust. So when this event happens, the event is called conjunction, says Shaney Larson, Associated Director of Northwestern Center. Okay, it, it's the exploration and research in astrophysics. Conjunctions of Jupiter and Saturn happen every 20 years. 20 years, y'all. <laughs> and most aren't very close at all. What's special this year is that they are right, right next to each other, said Larson. These two planets have never been this close in the sky for 400 years. Four, again, the number four, the number of Jupiter, okay? So no one really knows what it's going to look like because it hasn't happened since 1623. Look at these numbers, y'all. One and six is seven. This is numerology 723. I can remember, what is 23? Okay. It's also going to be used for, for good and bad, right? The 23, which I talked about that a few times. What is the sacred number 23? So also 23 is also what? Six, right? <laughs> so you look at these numbers, the six, 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 right? Or it's going to be what, the 66? So, in Galileo's time, the kind of, of gives you a sense of rarity of the event. This is not just a once in a lifetime event. This is once in our history since we built the telescope event. Oh, wow. So, while catching a glimpse of either Jupiter or Saturn, it's relatively commonplace. Michelle Nichols, an astronomer at the other planetarium said that 1623 Christmas star occurred so close to the sun, it is possible it went largely unnoticed. So close to the sun. Remember, you are also a sun. When you start to realize that you don't have to follow the sun because the sun is inside you, you know, it's like, man, you start merging more with everything around you outside of you. So the last time the two gas giants were disclosed and easily seen a cool hundred years, it would be closer than anybody on earth has ever seen that these two planets, Nicole said. She recently has been uh, fielding questions out there about what the event will and won't involve and said that she's encountered a great deal of misinformation. One thing she said nearly, a line is not a line. They're coming close together, but they are not going to merge. They're not forming a single star. They will still appear as two distant objects, Nicole said. The distance between them will appear about the one-fifth of the diameter to the full moon. Remember, we also have an eclipse coming up on Monday, okay? So those are, that's also the energies that are coming in. Remember, today's the 13th also. 
so and that's just close they look they still be about half a billion miles apart see it doesn't matter if they if they're not going to become a star obviously that's <laughs> that's not going to happen but the simple fact that we already have those stars out there our ancestors they just be present so not only that we can think about also the solar flares that are gonna come out okay where are the solar flares going where are they going into <laughs> they're coming into us it's, it's the waking of that god gene that these motherfuckers that control everything are afraid that you're going to spark up remember what is the solar plexus it's the element of fire that's gonna spark up your roots what is the roots considered connecting uh, uh who governors that roots the capricorn who is the capricorn the capricorn representation of saturn who is saturn okay so when you set that spark what happens? What happens, y'all? That Kundalini rises. It rises. It activates what? Your third eye and your crown that awakens your psychic abilities. So that's pretty fucking awesome, man. Which is why they're doing everything in their power to stop this great awakening from happening. This is why they want to go ahead and force those vaccines and they're already trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? Which is why they want people in fear of the unknown because they're afraid of what's going to inspire within. What's going to kick off within. Remember, study your science, you study everything around you, you start knowing exactly more of who you are, man. This is just, this is our science. This is our science, y'all. And this is what they be keeping us in the dark from because they're, they don't want us to know who we are. They want you to, they want you to be in fear. They want you to be falling in line. They want you to follow to her they want you to go right and send left you get what I'm saying so where am I at uh, all right. wow this right here hit me right here too 423 hmm. So this is important. The star will only be visible for about an hour shortly after sunset, which in Chicago should be at 423 that day. The winter solstice is when the northern hemisphere has the fewest hours of daylight all year. So we, we're entering the winter solstice, which is very important too. Especially that we're going to be having more of the moon, the moon energies coming through. You know, so remember, if it won't be eight, the whole night, people wishing to see it will want to look to the horizon in the southwest sky or use an app that tells them where Jupiter is, Feinstein said. So this is some, this is some real shit. This is something what our ancestors were talking about. Okay, this is why we got it. Uh, the Mayan calendar, right? The Aztec calendar. You know, so um, this is what they've been trying to keep us away from. We're, we're, we are entering a new golden age. We are entering a new paradigm. New, new systems are coming up. Old systems are crashing. Which is why they want to keep holding on to whatever the power they have because they're scared that they're losing the grip of things, which they are. Come on, y'all. Pay attention to what's happening out there. We got, we got star, we got suns, two suns in the sky now. 
that people are catching. We got different moons appearing. <laughs> this is a whole different time. You get what I'm saying? So this is awesome how we're able to see this. And look at this. Of course, they're going to have to bring up the Bible. So there was a Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in, in 7 BC. <laughs> the seventh. What is the seventh? Your Corona Chakra. What is BC? Before the confusion error. Okay? So... And who's giving you the information? A motherfucker seven. <laughs> oh, man. And so put this on your calendar, especially my folks that are on, on, in Chicago time. The 423, y'all. So this is going to be awesome, man. This is what this is exactly what we've been waiting for. Now let's see if we can have some more, some more information on this conjunction here. Nah, really, there isn't any too much anymore. Yes, for, so let's forget about calling this the Christmas star. We're going to call this the ancestor star. You feel me? This is the ancestor star. Okay? This has nothing to do with Christmas. If so, let's just let's just get let's just set that record straight. So there you are. You see what the conjunction is about. All the energies, all the different energies. And like I'm saying, man, this is right now. There's a time where people are starting to get more aware of themselves. Like I've been saying this for 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 a while already. If you can't go out, go in there. Right now is the time that is very important to start tapping into yourself. Remember, you have all it takes, everything it takes to go ahead and, and, and bring more your creation to the surface. Why do you think they do everything in the part to classify your pinnacle gland? Why is that? Because if you're blocked, that means you're locked. You're locked here, and you're definitely closed down up here. They they disconnect you from that connection. Just like these these planets are con and going into conjunction, you are also part of that conjunction. This is why there is a massive great awakening taking place. This is why there's so many people coming online. This is why so many souls are merging together, coming into one. Like I said about my queen earlier, she's my balance. You know, it's no coincidence that she's my cancer. She's my water. She's my water. No, she is my yin, my yang. She's everything that's outside of me. Just like I'm everything that's outside of her. You know, so it's very important, y'all, to really know that, know who you are. Because the more you know who you are, the more you have power over your life. You're able to navigate through the system this matrix system a lot more easier, a lot more better. You don't let nothing out there affect you no more because you know what you can build. You know what you can do. Hell, if me and her are able to manifest each other into our lives, I'm matching more what we can do together. Because remember, the mind is power. The mind is power and that's a, it, it, that's a, and it, that's a, a waste of a mind if you're not connecting if you're not going into yourself, why do you think they created religion, man? Why do you think they created all these systems outside of you? Because it's programs of control. The more they can dis disconnect you from yourself, the more they can disconnect you from, oh, all these fucking notifications get me sick. 
the more they can disconnect you from yourself, the more you're you're not in tune with self. You remember, man, what it, what it what it takes. Awareness. You remember, consciousness is inward. It's the spiral. It's just like the circle of life, where awareness is the pyramid. The seven levels of awareness, which I couldn't show that right now, too. Okay, let's see. It's not that one. Okay, I'm gonna find something more better than that. All right, so I found something good. Okay, let me um, share this. Share my screen. All right, so here we are. We have um, the seven levels of awareness. And this is very important because they, remember, a lot of us don't know that how conscious we are. Because remember, consciousness has become aware of itself. Just like, just like love needs to become aware of itself. Because there's a lot of people that 
say they're in love and and they're not gravitating that love how they should gravitate that love because a lot of people can't heal which is important when you start realizing more to let go of shit to heal and people get stuck in messed up relationships or keep bringing in that same fucking bad energy of a relationship you see one thing for sure look in life the greatest teachers in life are relationships but you have to be aware of that in order to finally be like okay i learned my lessons i'm i'm happy for the <laughs> the teachers now it's time for to move on and get myself together so i could gravitate this great alignment of love or or become more aware of the love right outside of you see in order for you to have that love outside of you, you have to know what it is and what it takes to love yourself first how are you gonna find love outside of you if you don't really do what it takes to love yourself and i have to learn that a lot in this and in, in, in this and this time right to really know what it was to to stop taking myself for granted or stop taking love for granted or just or just stop to to really pause and be in solitude for myself and become aware of myself where I know, man, I had to heal. I mean, I've been through all these fucking relationships. I, I've been through so many, I, I gathered so much different energies since I was a young man as an adult and I never gave myself time to heal. Man, this is like, honestly, I was going, I nearly say almost, what, a year? And a half that I was single, man. Single. I was like, man, I've never experienced that being single like that that long. But it, man, I've learned a lot from that. I was able to gather myself finally, get rid of all the old energies, heal from that, go inner more, you know, become the healer. You see, here's the thing: in order to become a healer, I had to heal. How was I gonna be a healer and not heal, not know how to heal myself? You know, this is the thing too is that we have to sometimes go through darkness in order to understand it. We have to go through the mouth of madness in order to understand what it is to be mad, right? We have to go through this shit. How are we gonna be able to know what it is to to um to help those heal or to or to talk about something if we don't experience it? We have to go through it, man. And I know a lot of my a lot of my my experiences in this life. I had to go through a lot of shit to understand it. And I'm grateful for, for the lessons I went through, I went through, but now I'm, I'm able to really realize that damn, I finally had to give myself that break to really understand self, to heal, to let go of all this and that and forgive not only myself, but forgive those that I, that have hurt, that have hurt me and forgive myself totally for those that I, I have hurt to forgive myself and ask for forgiveness as well. You know, you let go and you just let be. You know, it's um it's just the levels of the seven levels of awareness. You know, so think about this. What I what what have I been saying about the simple fact that we are beast and spirit? Remember the beast is part animal, right? So the body is of the earth, it's is here of the earth, but not the spirit. Okay? This is just an avatar, but what drives it what drives this avatar? Your spirit. So if you think about this. This is the first level. This is considered, the first level is also considered to be your root, okay? What is number one animal, flight or fight, react versus respond. And this is, this is what it is too. Think about how, the, how the, the matrix system works. They don't want you to take, to take fight. They want you to take flight. When you take flight, you're not there and you don't fight. You don't, you're giving them that response where, all right, I'm just going to fall in line and I'm going to be that sheep and I'm going to keep going right instead of going left and I'm going to let them run me instead of me running the program. You get what I'm saying? So here too, two is what? Mass. Isn't a body full of mass? Aren't you, isn't energy part of mass? Okay, so follow the crowd or confirm. You get what I'm saying? You confirm into your reality, not that reality outside of you. Three, aspiration, desire, 
without action. So put it like this, we're all magical beings. So what do magicians do? They take action, they make shit happen. You get what I'm saying? When you understand who you are, you don't wait for nothing outside of you to make things happen for you. You make it happen yourself as the magician you are. Four, individual, express uniqueness. Be unique, be unique. You leave an individual fingerprint that is yours. You have an individual fingerprint, a spiritual fingerprint that is yours that you need to mark on this earth. Five, discipline, which a lot of us still, a lot of us lack discipline. I mean, I sometimes lack discipline in certain areas of my life, which I'm aware of that, which I need to master and, and you know, find that. Like for instance, meditate more, <laughs> meditate more, sleep early. Those are, those are part of my, my things of me finding more discipline of that. Um, so give self a command and keep it. Like for instance, command, command things into your life. Like I was doing with my empress, commanding her to be present bringing her into my awareness, bringing her into me, commanding by what? By my voice. I am in command. Nothing outside of me commands me. I command thyself. Six, the experience. Real learning. Real learning of what, Miguel? Not the programs outside of you. You see, a lot of these programs that we learned in school was only to keep you a slave not the master. When you, this is my thing, you have to unlearn, to relearn, to learn again. And a lot of us are here to learn the lessons, move on and remember who we are and we learn and learn again. That's the mastery of real learning, learning thyself, learning who you are, how you're connected to everything outside of you, above. Above, as below, also so above. Now seven, the mastery, respond versus react. How do you respond to things? Your reaction. Think about this, how the system outside of us have a thing, problem, reaction, solution. They create a problem, they have a reaction, and there's a solution to that. What is the problem they created? This COVID. What is the reaction to that? The paranoia, the fear, keeping people on check, having people fall in line, having people in fear and so forth. And what is the react and what is the solution to that? What is the solution to this COVID? We see it now, the vaccines, social distancing, wearing face masks and so forth. All these different programs to keep you in a low vibration of what? Animal, beast where you cannot find the self-mastery of self, the beauty and the beast. So let's see what else can we see, find here. Oh yeah, I wanted to share this. And this is, this is, this is pretty dope right here too, this one. Let me make sure I'm sharing that. So these are uh, also too, look, the triangle for higher consciousness. So you have the lower body, which again, which is the root, your, chak your, your root chakra, the Capricorn, or the Saturn, the Lucifer, however you wanna see it, the lower mind, the lower mind, right? So to me, when I look at when I think about the lower mind, I think about it being as the sacral plexus, okay? Or the solar as well. So you have the higher mind, then you have the higher mind and body, 
and then you have the higher source spirit. So remember, the crown is also the higher source, your higher self, connection to spirit, you know, connection to spirit, connection to the heavens. So this is also, this is why they also want to go ahead and keep you on lockdown from disconnecting yourself to your higher self and to the higher spirit and have you disconnected from your crown. They want to take away your crown. Uh, 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 this is hold on. Uh, where is it at? I just had it. Okay. So where there is it? Okay, this is it. Well, why do you keep doing that? And I'm trying to find this. And this is this is real this is real talk right here. <laughs> so look, and this is this is what's happening, right? The shift happens, right? The shift, the shit happens. You two can't climb. <laughs> so this is what's up. Look, this is this is this is real talk. Okay, asleep. I don't want to know anything about this shit. Curious, what is this shit? The waking up. I have a lot of shit. Awake. I'm seeing my own shit. Enlightened, helping others deal with their shit. And holy shit, it's all perfect. You become the ascended master. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is some funny, this is funny shit, but this is, this is still like, if you think about it, it, it all makes sense though. You know, you don't want to be part of that shitty matrix system. You want to shift it. Create your own shift or shit, right? You know? I don't want to be part of that paradigm. Go over there. I don't want to be part of that paradigm. I don't want to be part of that that system. I want to be able to create my own. You know, there's like I said, there's there's two there's two types of people. You're either the programmer or you're a program. I choose to be a programmer. You know, I came here to make shit happen. I don't I don't come here I didn't come back here to be part of their system and allow that system thinking they're gonna control me. So let's uh, let's just stop that, you know. So um, yeah, man, it's just it's an awesome time to be awake. It's an awesome time to be aware. It's also time to be. You see, here's the thing: how COVID affected a lot of people, and I get it, man. COVID is a real thing. I'm not saying it. I never said it was. It's the illusion of all the shit that they're doing about this COVID, like the number gain, um, how it's um, how it's really how they make it seem bigger than what it is. Yes. It's doing exactly what they created it for. It's an agenda, right? It's to make the population smaller. That's their goal. But who has it been affecting? A lot of sick people. Let's be real, y'all. Come on, man. How many people are sick? How many people are obese? How many people have all these type of problems with their health? And if your health is physically fucked up, what do you think is happening to your mind? What do you think is happening to your spirit? A lot of people don't want to eat healthy. A lot of people don't want to take care of themselves. A lot of people don't want to go ahead and, and boost up their immune system. A lot of people don't want to do anything about anything, but yet they're sick. I'm telling you, man, you don't have to have, you don't even have to smoke to get cancer no more. Keep eating the healthy. Think what they're doing to the pets. I mean, to the animals. If the animals are eating cancer, aren't you eating cancer? Like we're doing with these chemicals. Come on. It's, it, we gotta be real. Look what they're doing to the water. The water is poisonous. Poison. Look at the fluoride. What is the fluoride doing to you? It's classifying your pineal gland, isn't it? It's for a purpose. Look what they, look what they have the fluoride and toothpaste. Again, you brush your teeth with that shit. There's alternatives. There's different. This different. You can buy different toothpaste, non fluoride. I buy that now. You know what I'm saying? Shit, some good stuff. You know, I mean, we don't have to keep falling in line with that program. You can disconnect from that program. Remember, you have the inner matrix and self. Understand that. You know, you got you have a divine matrix within. 
That's how divine you are, man. When you start to realize that, then you'd be like, damn, like, what the fuck? I've been asleep this long. It's time to spark. It's time, it's time to really get it together. Look, look what's happening. The great conjunction is happening. And from the 21st, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's days away from now. It's days away from now. Eight days away from today. Wow. No, is it? Yeah. So, man, think about that. It's like, it's crazy, man. I'm just sitting here thinking like, you know, like, what's been happening, man? What's been inspiring? What's been, what's been showing? It's like, when you're connecting and plug in, man, it's like, it's just, it's just a, it's just a whole different, it's just a whole different, different way of looking at life. It really is. Like I said, think about this. Why, why do they poison the foods? Why do they poison the air? Why do they poison the water? Why do they poison toothpaste? Why do they give poison to animals? Why why do they do that? You know what I'm saying? It's it's this how everything is in reverse. How life is how 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 the way life can be if you don't take control of it. Again, life is not supposed to trap us. It's supposed to teach us and help us grow. Earth is a school, y'all. It's a school of learning. It's a school of improving. You don't have to be part of that system. It's a shame when you still have people so plugged into that matrix and they fall in line with the politics, that religion and all these outside programs to keep you trapped, trapped in and to yourself and to keep you disconnected from self. So many people are so fucking brainwashed, so brainwashed, man, so disconnected from their true origins, their roots, their ancestors, you know, um, Man, just think about the ancestors. How many? How much? How much blood was shed? You know, saying how much blood was shed. You know how how a lot of us are real royalty, real 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 royalty, man. How we need to we need to start self proclaiming ourselves of who we are, our birth rights, living our birth rights, get into our abundance. Get into our prosperity. Start learning the wisdom of ourselves. Start learning the wisdom of our bloodlines, the knowledge of self. You know, like I said, not that long ago, man, I was going through more information and I start and I found out that I was an emperor before in a past incarnation. You know what I'm saying? Which is why I, I, I gravitate to that energy so much. Think about number four. Number four is what? Number four is also the the month of April. My birth month. Number four is also Jupiter. Jupiter, y'all. And also the Emperor and Torah. Number four. I'm the Emperor. <laughs> this is why I'm in the seventh level of consciousness. Connected with my corona, my third eye. Think about that. I am 77 year, born 77. Life path number seven. I have seven children. And I know there ain't going to be another. There ain't going to be another. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm already in, I'm, I'm in alignment. You know? I have already that spiritual corona above my, my, my head. I don't have it placed physically, but it's it's already in me. It's in my bloodline. I'm already plant, I'm already printing that fingerprints on this earth. How soon enough I will be bringing in the kingdoms, creating the kingdom on the earth with my greater half, my empress. You see how awesome that is to be able to say that. How is that possible, man? It's the work of knowing who you, who we are, man. Look at the work she had to do. You see, love finds you. We 
real love finds you once you're in conjunction with self. Just like everything's coming under conjunction outside of you, things are happening within you. And there's a lot of people that are waking up and they don't even know what the hell's going on. They're just sparking up finally. And that's awesome. This is why the matrix grid is failing as well too. How you have glitches in the matrix. You get what I'm saying? Man, these motherfuckers are scared of what's happening. You see, I, I don't I don't allow none of that nonsense to affect me. I don't gravitate to that. While everybody's walking around with masks and, and scared, I'm more happy than a motherfucker, man. Walking around able to breathe, man. Outside, just breathe freely. Freedom is my birthright. We're not here to be f slaves. We're here to be free. Nothing outside of you should ever be able to control you. Nothing outside of you should be able ever, ever to give you that 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 uh, mindset of you being a prisoner of something else outside of you. It shouldn't. That shouldn't exist. If you have free will, the creators gave you free will for a purpose. The only reason why. People think they don't have free will because that fucking, that God outside of them, that is nothing compared to a lot of us that walk this earth. A lot of us are ancient. I don't consider, I know for a fact I'm not an old soul. I'm an ancient soul. You have your ancient souls, you have your old souls, and you have your new souls. Which are also considered the baby souls. You see, this is why I have the knowledge of self. Like I said many times, man, when I incarnated here, I picked, I picked my parents. I picked the life I wanted to live. Yeah, it's been a rough motherfucking ride, but I picked that shit. And I've been able to be like, you know what? I look back at all that, all that shit that inspired, that took place, was all for now, this present moment. Because I've been able to reflect on that, be like, damn, I, I had to go through all that. In order for me to really understand what it was my what was my darkness, I had to go that path. In order for me to really understand what it is to deal and battle with my own demonis, I had to I had to face them. I had made them part of me. And I still have them with me. But they're they they here to serve my higher purpose. You see, they your your only inner demons could be your master or your servant. And they, in conjunction with I, you get what I'm saying? So they, they, they're serving me to reach my higher self, to continue to reach my higher self. You know, like I said, there's a lot of things that I had, that I, I had to do, man. You know, that, that path, <laughs> you know, it, it was just, I'm just grateful that I was able to get out of that, you know, and then I took different routes. Cause if I would have just stick with the same route, I would have never been here right now. Been able to be here and speak. You know, it's like so much shit that I I that I I seen, so much shit that I was part of, man. You know, and all the relationships, all the all the fucking shit that I went through. It's like fuck. It it was it was for right now, man. It was the rite of passage. It was my initiation. It was my sacrifice. You know, me me even being shot on the fourth. Oh, 23rd you get what i'm saying like look at that time the time of the of the star the conjunction of seeing the star and and seeing all this happening is going to be at 423 see how i how i how that was a personal number to me <laughs> you get what i'm saying it's crazy man you know it's like it's just it was it was it was it was all it was all plan my design but why because I created all that I made all that happen you know what I'm saying I had to go through all this all this right here to go ahead and be where I'm at now you know you being present and there's a lot of there's a lot of things that I do behind the scenes behind the curtain that a lot of people don't really know what I'm doing what I be doing I'm here. I'm here of service. You know what I'm saying? 
this is my this is, I'm I'm doing my work. I'm I'm living out my purpose. I'm living out my birthright. And I'm happy to be at service and I'm happy to be able to, to help so many people awaken. I'm happy to do that. It drives me. You know, it, it's as I it just it just fills my heart with so much love more. It's like, man, to see people just gravitating to becoming more of who they thought they were. And it, it, this is how my my woman, my queen, found me too. <laughs> how she started falling more in love with me, just watching me. You know, that's awesome, man. You know, to be able to find that, that other half. You know, um, just to be here present. You know, it's like, it's it's fucking, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's just, it makes, it makes everything worth it. it. Makes everything worth it. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, I remember I used to be like, man, bring her to me already. I'm getting, I'm getting tired of being lonely. Although, yeah, I, I was never really phys- um, spiritually lonely because I always have, my my spirit guides, my ancestors with me, always within. But to have my greater half is what I was missing. And now I have that. Again, but why or how? Just putting in the work. Again, we're not just these fucking avatars. We're not just these bodies. We're not just these bodies. The only way, the only reason why we are taught to think that we're just this body because everything of the programs outside of us. You know, like I said, I've been here many times, man. You know, I am I speak my truth. I don't talk about things because I'm here trying to sell a script or because I want this and uh, I'm, no, man. I know my purpose. I know my purpose. And those of you that, that do have, that have me, that, that are on my Facebook, you see, all the information I put out there. If those of you that do watch and are not, you know, on my Facebook, hit me up, man. I drop a lot of nuggets on there. I drop a lot of information, you know, and information is key. Information is key. Information is a new weapon. The more you're informed, the more you're, you are informed, it brings out more awareness. Remember, what is awareness? Oh yeah, I forgot I forgot to show this too. Now that we're talking about this, the awareness. So let's see if I could oh that's too small. I need something big. Okay. All right. Oh, this is awesome because remember I was just talking about being in service and I'm I am I am in the seventh. So look. You see I do not at all be making nothing up. Okay? So look. These right here are also the colors of the chakras. Okay? So remember I was talking about the root. Excuse me. So check it out. Survival. Remember the root chakra is also your beast. That's why it's red. It's pursuit of profit and share and shareholder value. Okay. So relationship is the second one. And this is also considered to be the sacral plexus chakra. Okay. So this is relationships that support so this is uh, this is something else, but this is about organization. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't read this. Although it, it does look good, but that's not what I want. Okay, hold on. Let me find something else. Uh, oh, that's small. See, I like the colors the way it had everything colored out. 
<laughs> but they kill it with that organization shit. I'm not trying to do that. Okay, well, uh, okay, look, now this one's better. So let's go over this again. I'm sorry about that other one. I didn't read it properly from the top. So number one is the root survival, physical survival and safety, health, Nutrition, financial stability, self-defense, violence, greed, corruption, or control. So remember how they want to control you and keep you keep you locked in. They want to tame the beast, put it like that. This is why they want to they want to tag you with your own six six six, the mark of the beast. Remember what I said about the lion. When a lion is locked up in a cage, is he is he still the the king of the jungle? Okay. So, of course not, he's not. Why? Because he's locked up. So what they want to do to the beast, they want to keep you <laughs> in beast mode. They want to keep you locked in. They don't want you to be able to spark up. You know, they want you to keep you, they want to keep you in your ego. You know, what is your ego? You know, you. And in, in order to really to come into conjunction with self, you have to have an ego death. You got to let go of the ego. And then you realize it's not really your amigo, right? <laughs> you got to let it go. You let it go. In order for you to really find your oneness of self, you have to let go of the ego. That's important. It's mandatory. So number two is, again, your sacral plexus. Relationship. Key. Relationship. If you don't have a relationship with self, you're not going to have a relationship outside of self. You know, you're not going to be having harmony like you should. Having harmonious relationships, families, you know, having a, a better relationship with your family, having better friendships, belonging, you're open. Communication, remember, communication is key as, as well. You know, um, ritual. Okay. Every day, life should be a ritual. And then the opposite of all this is what? Blame, jealousy, judgment, conflict, and gossip, which is a lot of that does, does happen. <laughs> There's a lot of people that want to blame, blame something else instead of really taking blame for themselves and their actions. There's a lot of jealousy out there. People want to throw judgment and I, I, I be on the other side of that coin sometimes when people just want to throw judgment and I really not understand the kind of work I do or what I'm doing behind the scenes. You know, that becomes their problem, not mine. The conflict. Okay. Conflict of self. We're not understanding self. You're at war with yourself because your ego, right? The gossip. People's, people's fucking rumors and gossiping about the other person without even knowing about the other person. You know? So, three, self-esteem. This is also your solar plexus. Building a sense of self-worth. Knowing what you're worth. Knowing your worth. You see, this is another thing why people have bad relationships because or bad love because they don't know their worth. They don't know their worth. They have no sense of worth. You know, um, it's important to know yourself self your self-worth you know having what pride in self have pride of yourself be self reliance being excellent positive self-image you know and uh, and the negative of that is arrogance statues power rigidity you know power could be negative and positive it's all the energy but we all have power. We all have that mind. The mind is power. You know? And me, shit. I don't mind being arrogant. Because it comes with the territory of who I am. You know, I'm an, I could be an arrogant motherfucker. But I could stand by that. You know what I'm saying? But there's a difference of 
to be to throw that around like that. I'm a nigger and nigger, you know, this and that. Ah, man, it's not like that. But I can be, you know. Um, it's just it's just how I flow. Number four, transformation. What is that? Your heart chakra. Right, it's continuous growth and development. That's part of having the the knowing of love, loving yourself more, to grow. Having remember what I said about how love takes a shape of itself; it becomes a war of itself. You know, you're able to grow and develop who you are. Okay, adaptability. Continuance, improvement, courage, being a team player. And me, I come, I, I, you know, like when I was doing my my hustle with those businesses, you know, um, being a team player. And then one thing for sure, what makes it, what makes a, a dream, uh, teamwork makes a dream work is what, you know, what I was taught, you know. So, being a team player. But what does that take? Yourself, to know that. You have to be a team player of you first to coexist with all of that who you are. That's your darkness, your light. That's your your feminine, your masculine energy. That's just everything of yourself to be the perfect team player of self. Five, internal cohension. That is your throat chakra as well. Speaking your truth. Finding meaning in existence. Integrity. Alignment again. What did I say about how me and her we came in alignment? Why? Because we're speaking our, our truth. We're speaking our throat. Our throat chakra was able to release and put in command what we wanted in our reality as our greater half to come in union. Finally, we're speaking that into existence. Being oh what oh density, creativity, passion, honestly, and trust. You know, be passionate with yourself, step into your creativity, being the co-creator of who you are. Being honest with yourself, be trustworthy, trust others. And this is making a difference, this, your, your third eye, right? Your mind's eye, making a difference in the community, actualizing meaning, collaborating, intuition, mentoring, empathy. You know, when you when you start being online with your mind's eye, you have more empathy for others, even for yourself. You're trusting your intuition. Your intuition is more open, is more activated. You have more meaning. You bring more meaning to to your to your outer your outer your outside being and as well as your inside being. You know, um you're mentoring more. You know, um, this is the service, your seventh, your corona chakra, your crown, service to humanity and the planet. You know, it's very important to be of service, to be more having compassion. Where does compassion come from? It comes from the fifth, I mean the fourth, your heart chakra. But what does that take place? What happened? What has to happen? You have to go through a transformation. You have to transform. You have to let go of the what? The ego, the beast, to be in beauty, a transformation. Transform who you are. You know, you have to you have to be able to build future generations. You know, like me, even my my uh my queen, I'm used to saying she's my queen, right? Because she is. We're already building future ideas. We're already planting them seeds of what we're looking for. Let I me mean, look at look uh, looking at what we're looking forward to is what I'm was what I really want to say. You know, building those future generations. You know, this is what we're we're looking at. We have to come to a place of time where we're looking ahead of of everything. We're not looking at just at a year from now or two years from now, we're looking deeper than that. And this is what a lot of the ancient ones used to do. They used to plan for a long-term future 
goal, not a short term. If that makes sense. So, yeah, man. So this is, this was good. I think it's 923. <laughs> Nine for completion and 23, right? Pretty awesome. Well, you know, when I look back at everything, like I said, it was everything was all worth it, man. And I'm now I'm just looking at a better future. You know, um, making more investments. You know, um, tapping in more into the energies that are provided to me. Manifest, you know, manifestation is key. You know, um, tapping more into the gifts of self. You know, it's 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 trippy. It's 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 pretty fucking hilarious too. How people really are waiting for a rapture and they're gonna fly away and all this shit. <laughs> I mean, you know how you know how how long I've been flying when I travel for a long time. <laughs> I already fly. You know, it's 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 pretty fucking hilarious how we really buy into that shit. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. But like I said, man, there's a, there's there's a lot of people are coming online. And I like, I, I, you know, I love that. I love to hear that, that how people are really coming together and connecting and waking up and, and making a big difference, man. You know, one thing about COVID, man, it, it, here's the thing. COVID, it, what, it, what it's taught me was self. And allowed COVID to affect me like that. For me, COVID was just about growing, planting the seeds, understanding self more, tapping in, tapping in. Like I said, the only way to tap in is to tap out. The only way to tap in is to tap out. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's fucking amazing, man. This this journey is like, wow, it's fucking amazing. It's awesome. I love where, I love where I'm at. I really do. I love the fact that you know, I have my greater half, man. I'm telling you, that's like, that's been like a big milestone for me too. Just finally being in union, finally being in union after all this time, the separation of self. Um, you know, the two souls coming together, merging as one. That's real facts. That's that's real truth. You know, it's it's very inspirational. You know, it's like telling my telling my story. Meet some of my story and inspire someone else for them to really tap into themselves. It's important. It really is to tap into who you are. You know, there's like somewhat like I said, like I like I would say my my whole journey too, like when I was young, I was like, I knew there was more than meets the eye of who I was. And there was. It had to take so much for me to realize that, but it was never late. You know, um, I'm very, very grateful for everything that I've gone through. Yeah, I was I was late coming into the game, but in some sense, I was already putting in the work. You know what I mean? And ever since I came into this journey of answering my my birthright, coming into my calling, I put in so much work, man. It's like, and don't get me wrong, the work still ain't done. There's still a lot of work that needs to get done. You know, and hey, I'm a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. You know, but I'm there. I know who I know who I am. I know exactly who I am. I know exactly that I'm not the same person I was last year. Hell, I'm not the same person I was yesterday. You know, um, we all through this life, man, we when you realize who you are, you leave a part of yourself every day and you're growing every day. Every day is about growing. You know, um, what does that take though? Letting go of things that don't serve you, letting go of your ego, knowing who you are is key. It's always the key. Remember, we have the key to paradise. The key to paradise is within, not outside of you. 
you have the kingdom with the kingdom within you have the kingdom within remember that you know we are here to bring the heavens to the earth you know we're here to bring the heaven to the earth we're here to bring the kingdom to our realization visia visualize everything go into the state of visualization Bring it, bring it into your mind where you want to be in the next five years. Where you want to be in the next 10 years. How, where you want to be tomorrow. Who you want to be tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to get off. You know, um, what's that? Next time I go live, I'll make sure <laughs> I'll be on YouTube doing my thing. Excuse me, instead of uh, having to record it and do what I got to do right now, but shit happens, man. <laughs> it's all good. I ain't tripping. As long as I was able to do this, ain't no worries at all. But yes, it was good to be present. Peace and love, y'all. Peace and love. Always remember, stay healthy because health is wealth. All right. Have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.